Hello and welcome to Auto Today. My name is The Pine and you're joining me today to check out a new car that puts the sport in sports utility vehicle. This ladies and gentlemen is the brand new Hyundai Venue N-Line and it joins of course the brand of N-Line cars that are already on sale in India alongside the i20. Now it does get a few tweaks that set it apart and make it a sportier version of the Venue. So before we jump into our review, let's take a quick look at the details that set the Venue N-Line apart from the standard car. The Venue N-Line like the i20 before it doesn't really get a transformational change to the design. In fact, for the most part, every panel is the same as what you get on the standard Venue. The visual updates to the Venue N-Line are primarily focused on aesthetics and that means you get a darker treatment to the grille, red accents on the front and rear bumper as well as on the side cladding and the roof rail. Additionally, you also get a sportier set of N-Line wheels that match the sportier outlook of the N-Line and adding to the effect are red calipers on the disc brake that instantly set the N-Line apart. Finally, you also get N-Line badging on the fenders and on the tailgate. But it's not all red calipers, accents and badging. Once you get to the back of the venue, N-Line is where things get really interesting. For one, you get this roof mounted spoiler in black which looks really good. You get blacked out tail lamps in the shape of the new venue. But my favorite feature about the new venue N-Line is these two new split tail exhausts which have a slightly sportier sound profile than the standard venue and we'll give you a little listen before we take you inside the cabin and tell you what this new venue is all about. Now on the inside of the venue and lines cabin is where things take a turn for the sportier side. You get all black interiors contrasted with red accents to bring out that sporty sporty feel from the inside you get red accents on the dial you get red accents on the blacked out seats of course with the end line branding on it red piping as well even the drive mode selector has a red accent of course at the center of it you get the end specific gear knob which looks really cool and of course you also get a three spoke steering in line with the end line branding you also get these really cool and ergonomic paddle shifters which really add to the drive experience and I think overall the venue N-Line is a pretty cool place to be inside the cabin but of course the proof of the pudding will be once you get to the driving so let's throw her in D, throw it in sport mode and see how she drives. So now we're behind the wheel of the new venue N-Line and more or less it stays the same. For one, you get a 1 litre turbocharged engine that makes 120 bhp and 172 nm of peak torque. The motor is paired with a 7-speed DCT as is the case before and as we know it's not the fastest DCT in the world. But that said, where Hyundai have focused the bulk of their efforts is on the suspension and on the steering. Now, you would think that suspension and steering are small factors in how the drive experience is but on the venue N-Line it's something you really feel. It sets the car apart and it feels a whole lot more engaging to drive and it handles those corners so much better gripping on the inside just the way you would want it to. Now corners are one thing but when it comes to handling you think with stiffer springs the ride is going to be compromised a little bit but that is where Hyundai have really showed their maturity with great damping functions on the venue end line without really compromising on the overall stiffness of the suspension damping rates have been changed as well meaning that undulations and small bumps are easily absorbed without really being transferred into the cabin now another first in class feature on the venue end line is of course the dash cam and that is a great feature of course when you want to record that in-car out-car footage for track days but it also makes a lot of sense in day-to-day -day driving another thing that really makes a difference when you're putting the n-line through its spaces are the four disc brakes as opposed to the front disc rear drum setup on the standard venue 
These make for confidence inspiring braking allowing you to push the envelope further than you would dare on the stock car. And finally, the last thing that adds to just how engaging the venue N line is to drive is of course that exhaust note that makes its way into the cabin and really adds to the drive experience. Now we've spent the better part of the day driving the venue N line and there is a lot to like. As far as pricing goes, there are two variants, the N6 and the N8. The N6 sells for about 12 lakh 16,000, while the N8 top of the line venue N line sells for about 13 lakh 15,000 ex showroom, which puts it about 45,000 rupees more than the top of the line venue DCT SX. So, now for the price, you do get a much, much sportier car, and if that is what you're looking for, it does offer a lot. In fact, it does look very different as well. So for those enthusiasts among us who don't want to really compromise on the practicality of a compact SUV, the Venue N-Line is now the only hot SUV that you can buy in India. Of course, for that, the price seems more than fair. But before we go, if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the Auto Today channel if you haven't already. This is Didi signing off.